Hi everyone! Today I want to show you how to make this really cute punch art Santa. I made these punch art Santas back in 2012 I think it was or maybe 11 and um, they were really popular with the people at my stamp camp and then I ended up blogging about it and I constantly get even these many years later questions about how to make it and um, asking for tutorials and things like that and back then I didn't do videos I would just have to write out these long explanations on what punches I used and in the various emails and I thought, you know what, I still to this day get questions, but all these products are discontinued. This used to be a wing from the Bird Builder punch and this was the old ornament punch and these oval shapes have all been discontinued so I haven't been able to produce this exact Santa again. So I took him apart and I was looking at him and I looked at my punch wall I have all my paper punches up on a wall so I can see them all. And um, thought I would look to see if there was anything that resembled these punches. And there was. So this is the new Santa. And he looks almost like the old Santa. Still cute and adorable. But I've used some different punches. I thought I'd show you what I used. This is called the Best Badge. And it makes a shape like this. And I thought this looked really great for Santa's beard. Now Santa's mustache comes from this festive flower builder punch. It's the center double flower here. It's like a p two petals connected in the middle. So that's what I used for Santa's mustache. Sorry for the shine <laughs> on the silver. And then I used um, for his hat a couple of ovals from the Layering Ovals Framelit Dies. So let's put it together. It's really simple. Start off with your face and then you need a white for the beard. This is Blushing Bride. You can use a variety of different neutral colors for the face. I'm going to left my scissors across the room. Here they are. <laughs> I'm going to cut a little bit off the top of the beard. There. Okay, and this is scrap. For his mustache, I like to use thin strips of scrap when I make punch art because you always have thin strips of scrap and it's easy to place them where you want them in these builder punches that have lots of different shapes. So I'm going to put this right through here. All I want is this one. I may save, sometimes I save the little flower thing. Okay, so that's his mustache right there. Now the circles, if you have various little circle punches that'll work, really a lot of different things will work for this. But I'm going to tell you what I use a lot. The Owl Builder Punch has several shapes, I'm sorry, sizes of circles. And three different sizes of circles and it punches two at a time and I use this one a lot and you can use these two for Santa's eyes. Um, another great one with circles is, well I have this little tiny one that's circles. Another great one for circles is the Cupcake Builder which has three circles. I use this one a lot on smaller eyes. This punch was discontinued but I'm only showing it to you today because I happen to notice that it popped up on the clearance rack this week. Um, it's actually being called the Closeout Sale. It's the end of our holiday catalog season and they've updated the clearance rack and made it into a big closeout with all the retiring holiday products and the Cupcake Builder Punch made an appearance on there. And I'm telling you that because it is a really awesome punch. This cupcake frosting is awesome for clouds. So if you're doing scrapbook pages or things like that, this is great for clouds. The bottom of the cupcake wrapper is a really cute basket. Um, the candle is great. It's really a really awesome punch. I was surprised when they discontinued it. So this is on the clearance rack right now being called closeouts. Sorry, I keep saying clearance rack because that's what it's normally called. But check out that closeout sale because this punch is on it. And if you like punch art, you're going to want to have this in your stash. Okay, so what I used on this one was the owl. I used this size here and you need whatever color you chose for the face you're going to need another one for his nose. 
So you just need one. And then you're going to need two in black for his eyes. So there you go. Now I like to use Tombow multi-purpose glue adhesive because, <coughs> excuse me, I have been fighting this cold. Um, I like it because it can be used with the gummy eraser, which is like an adhesive remover, looks like this, and you can get up adhesive spillage or little little bits that run out the sides of your punch art, like if you get a little bit of glue coming out of the side of Santa's eye or something. This is um, easy to get up once it dries with this eraser and the fine tip glue, the real fine new fine tip glue pen, it dries to a beautiful shiny like lacquer almost and you just, it doesn't really come up as well with the adhesive remover. So if you're going to do punch art where you're going to glue tiny things, you might get some spillage. You, the Tombow Multipurpose is actually good for that. Okay, so you're going to put his mustache down and you're going to want to tuck the eyes underneath a little bit because that way it looks like Santa's eyes are behind the mustache slightly, like he's got big jolly cheeks that are laughing and his cheeks are just puffy and cute and he's he's just smiling. You can He looks like he's smiling if his eyes are slightly behind that mustache. There we go. Okay, so there's your face. Now at the top here, you're going to want to trim this off. And how I did that, I ran it back through my Big Shot once again. And what I did was I stuck, and you could do this before you glue his little face on. I was excited to start gluing and I did it after. Okay, you're going to put it through your Big Shot again to cut out the oval, but you're going to put it like this. See how this is on the outside? It's not going to get cut through your Big Shot. It's going to stay out and that way only the top is getting a nice rounded edge. So I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, here he's cut off and I'm going to put that aside. Now you're going to start his hat. Now I used these two shapes from the oval layering ovals framelits. Here's the white and cherry cobbler and the white is just going to go behind Santa's head. Oops, I knocked his beard when I was cutting. There you go. Like this. And then his hat just goes like this. Okay, now I know that normally Santa's hat doesn't you know, it normally flops over, and we don't have anything for that to flop over. But to give that suggestion that parts are flopping over and a little bit is showing is this little poof. And there are lots of different punches to make that poof too, but I decided to go ahead and just use the poof from the Santa's hat because it was sitting on my desk. <laughs> um, this is the little poof I used here. You can also put a little puff ball if you have a little cotton puff ball or um, any little tiny scallop circle will be great. Now this Santa's Hat Builder Punch, it's called Jolly Hat Builder Punch, is also retiring, so I'm showing it to you now because again, punches are awesome if you love to do punch art. These little shapes might come in handy. You can, I'm kind of thinking I see cornucopia here, I don't know. Um, anyway, these are great, it's always great to have punches in different shapes, and it is on sale right now in that closeout sale, so you might want to check out the Hat Builder Punch along with the Cupcake Builder Punch. And I think there's a bell on sale right now. There's all kinds of great things on sale right now. So here's the hat. Puffball goes on the side to kind of suggest that it's flopped over a little bit. Push all that down. And your Santa is complete. Now this little Santa, I used him on a candy bar. Everybody asks me where I got these candy bars. These are those thin fundraiser candy bars called World's Finest Chocolate. You can pick them up if you can from schools that are selling it, kids selling it for sports teams and things like that. I did find them at a grocery store in town at Pete's Market, but if you do a search maybe um, 
an internet search for world's finest chocolate, they might have a way for you to get them. But these little punch art Santas are great on anything, really. I've used them in the past on little 3x3 three three gift tags where I'll put a little piece of punch art on the front and inside I'll have a little greeting and a to from. I've used them on bags and boxes. They're cute on these little Christmas cracker treats. There, there's a video on how to make these little Christmas crackers on my YouTube channel as well. So you can put a little Santa on there. Little Santa can go just about anywhere, even a little scrapbook page. So that is how I made my little Santa. Hopefully that answers a lot of questions from people who've been asking. On that blog from 2012, I also made a Grinch candy bar. And I've been playing around with how to make... These shapes are all discontinued, too. So um, I've been playing around with how to make a new Grinch. And I will show you a video on that, hopefully, tomorrow. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you like my projects. And um, please subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see some more. And if you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. You can buy products from Stampin' Up! directly from my blog, Beth's Paper Cuts. Click the Shop button, and you can look for things like the Cupcake Builder and the Hat Builder and all these fun punches that I showed you today. Thanks for stopping by.